His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in Bahrain following a visit to the UAE, where he met with the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The two sides held talks on the deep rooted fraternal relations and the strong cooperation and coordination between the two countries. Upon arrival, His Majesty was received by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa in the presence of the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, national security advisor and commander of the Royal Guard, Lieutenant General His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, Staff Colonel. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Minister of the Royal Court Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. During the meeting, a number of local topics were discussed, including boosting the Kingdom's comprehensive development march and civilizational pro process to enhance national gains. His Majesty expressed pride in the efforts of His Royal Highness in serving the Kingdom and enhancing its global status and competitiveness, as well as supporting initiatives that enrich the paths of development, in addition to the pioneering projects accomplished by the government in all fields. That that served the country's march and fulfilled the aspirations of citizens. His Majesty the King hailed the Kingdom's sports and youth development and the successful work done by His Highness Sheikh Nasser and His Highness Sheikh Khalid in enhancing and developing the sports march, which contributed in making more sports achievements. His Majesty highlighted the BDF team's accomplishment in winning the third place in the international sniper competition held in Turkey, which witnessed the participation of 32 international teams. His Majesty also hailed the achievement of the Ministry of Interior in winning first place in the International Pace Sticking Championship for the 10th time, which was organized by the British Royal College Sandhurst. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the two Asian sports achievements made by Manama Club by winning the West Asia Super League and the Najma Club handball team on winning the 25th Asian Club's handball championship. His Majesty praised the role of the chairman and members of the board of directors of both clubs and affirmed that these achievements reflect the keenness of Bahraini citizens to promote the kingdom in all regional and international forums. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the chairman and board members of the Manama Club on winning the inaugural FIBA West Asia Super League. His Majesty praised the performance of the players during the championship, commanding the efforts of the technical and administrative staff, which enabled the team to achieve this title. His Majesty sent a similar cable of congratulations to the chairman and board members, technical and administrative staff, and players of the Najma Club on winning the 25th Asian Handball Club's championship. His Majesty praise the player's performance and hail the trophy which enriches Bahrain's handball and basketball achievements. His Majesty also commended the strong-willed Bahrainis who showed their ability to compete and win in different sports events, wishing all national clubs success. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the general headquarters of the BDF. His Royal Highness was received by the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defense, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan al naimi and other senior officers. His Royal Highness highlighted that the Kingdom is making considerable progress on its wide-ranging goals led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. He noted citizens' commitment to further the kingdom's development and strengthening its position globally across all sectors. His Royal Highness emphasized the BDF's role in supporting the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty the King. He commended the BDF's efficiency, professionalism, selflessness and achievements, as well as their role in safeguarding the kingdom's national security and stability. He added that the BDF's personnel will remain a symbol of loyalty and a source of inspiration for all. His Royal Highness was then briefed on the BDF's future development plans and programs and commended its advanced training and combat readiness. His Royal Highness expressed gratitude to the Commander-in-Chief for strengthening the BDF's military capabilities and safeguarding regional security alongside the Kingdom's allies. 
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prime Minister and Chairman of Bahrain Economic Development Board, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa, chaired the ADB's Board of Directors meeting. During the meeting, Bahrain's economic indicators, the ADB's milestones in the first six months of 2023 and the SME Development Board key performance indicators were reviewed. His Royal Highness highlighted Team Bahrain's achievements in furthering economic growth and attracting investments in support of Bahrain's economic recovery plan and the Economic Vision 2030, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He noted the role of Bahraini citizens in supporting the kingdom's wide-ranging development and in building a prosperous present and a brighter future for all. He emphasized the EDB's role in attracting direct investments across vital priority sectors and creating quality opportunities for Bahraini citizens, which helped to position Bahrain as an attractive investment destination in line with the Economic Vision 2030. He commended the existing public-private partnerships and the legislative authorities' cooperation, which helped expand the kingdom's economic development. His Royal Highness underlined national efforts to further economic and investment successes and provide quality opportunities for Bahraini citizens. The CEO of ADB, Khaled Ahmedan, presented the ADB's key achievements attracting a 1.1 billion US dollars direct investment in 2022. As of June 2023, the ADB attracted direct investments of 1.1 billion dollars in line with the economic recovery plan's goals that aim to attract over 2.5 billion investments by the end of 2023. The investments attracted in 2023 stemming from 42 investment projects are expected to create over 2,900 jobs for Bahraini citizens over the next three years. Hamidan then reviewed Bahrain's economic indicators in the non-oil sector, which was the largest contributor to Bahrain's overall economic growth. He noted that the data showed that Bahrain recorded an average annual nominal GDP growth of 8% over the last 20 years, in comparison to a world average of 5.5% over the same period. The data also revealed that the sector contributed 17.5% to real GDP, while the oil and gas sector contributed 16.9% and the manufacturing sector contributed 14%. Hamidan also noted positive indicators regarding the kingdom's real GDP growth for the rest of 2023. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhro, then presented the latest developments of the SME Development Board's strategic plan and highlighted key performance indicators that demonstrated a 14% growth corresponding to an increase in the GDP from $13.6 billion to $15.4 billion of the SME sector between 2021 to 2022. Fakhro concluded on initiatives adopted to increase SME's contributions to the national economy. The Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, several senior officials and members of the Board of Directors of the ADB also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable congratulations to the chairman and board members of the Manama Club for winning the inaugural FIBA West Asia Super League. His Royal Highness commended the players for their performance during the championship as well as the efforts of the technical and administrative staff. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable of congratulations to the chairman and board members, staff and players of the Najma Club on winning the 25th Asian Men's Club League Handball Championship. He noted that the two trophies further in rich Bahrain's record of sports achievements within the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King's representative for humanitarian work and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed pleasure with the achievement of the Manama Club which won the inaugural FIBA West Asia Super League after beating a Kuwait team in the final, which was held in Dubai. His Highness indicated that the team deserved the title due to its outstanding performance throughout the tournament. His Highness affirmed that this historic achievement for Bahraini basketball is an extension of the achievements made by Bahraini sports and foreign forums during the prosperous era of His Majesty the King and with the continuous support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. His Highness hailed the initiative of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who directed to provide a special plane to transport Bahraini spectators to support the Manama Basketball Club team in the final of the league. His Highness congratulated the President and members of the Manama Club for achieving the Asian title, praising the performance of the players throughout the tournament, wishing the team continued success. He also congratulated the Chairman and Board members of the Manama Club.
The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, chairman of the General Sports Authority and president of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamid Al Khalifa, witnessed the West Asia Super League final held in Dubai, which ended with Manama team winning the historic title after defeating Kuwait. His Highness Sheikh Khalid congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamid Al Khalifa. He held the achievement of Manama Club, which won the West Asian title and qualified for the Asian Club Championship. His Highness affirmed that this honorable achievement is a source of pride and reflects the development of Bahraini basketball in light of the efforts made by the club in supporting the players. He congratulated the club's board members, praising the dedicated efforts of the players' technical and administrative staff, which ensured Bahrain a historic achievement. The Representative Council Speaker Ahmed Lim Salem sent a cable congratulations to the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work in Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the Royal Humanitarian Foundation winning the Hamdan ISESCO Prize for Voluntary Development of Education Facilities in the Islamic World. He stressed that this achievement is a translation of the patronage of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work according to a pioneering development and educational vision. The Speaker added that 
that this achievement reflects the efforts of the government headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for supporting relief and humanitarian efforts provided by Bahrain to the people affected by disasters and crises. The Shura Council Chairman Ali Saleh sent a cable congratulations to the representative of His Majesty the King for humanitarian work in youth affairs and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the Royal Humanitarian Foundation winning the Hamdan Isisco Prize for Voluntary Development of Education Facilities in the Islamic World. The Chairman affirmed that the Foundation's winning of the award is a great achievement that came as a translation of the Royal High approach of His Majesty the King in supporting and assisting the educational aspect and charitable and humanitarian work. He indicated that the Kingdom of Bahrain, thanks to the unlimited support of the wise leadership of His Majesty the King and the interest and follow-up of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, will remain an oasis and a beacon for charitable and humanitarian work. The Royal Humanitarian Foundation continues its efforts in charitable and humanitarian work inside and outside the Kingdom of Bahrain, especially in the education field, through the building of schools and universities in various countries of the world. More on this report. Humanitarian and development achievements made by the Royal Humanitarian Foundation at all levels, including the field of education, in which the Foundation has given special attention inside and outside the Kingdom, which confirms its efforts and continuous pursuit in the advancement of societies through the spread of science and knowledge. Great effort exerted by the RHF in supporting education, which made it a source of pride for the ISESCO, Sheikh Hamdan bin Rashid Al Maktoum Award for volunteering in the development of educational facilities in the countries of the Islamic world through its distinguished and sustainable educational projects, which reflects the care and interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. Choosing the Royal Humanitarian Foundation to win this award from among 40 candidates confirms the Foundation's keenness to advance educational performance, upgrade educational services, and improve the structure of education. The Foundation's entitlement to win came based on clear evaluation criteria, based on scientific foundations and its educational projects. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, the University of Bahrain organized a graduation ceremony for the Bahrain Teachers College in the presence of the Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed Mbarak Juma. The minister delivered a speech where he expressed thanks to His Majesty the King for his unlimited support towards the education sector, for the importance of this sector in achieving progress and development, and expressed appreciation to His Royal Highness in this regard. He also thanked the personal representative of His Majesty the King, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa, for supporting the college. The minister congratulated the graduates and their families as well as the members of the board of directors for their efforts in advancing the work of the college under the supervision of the Ministry of Education. The minister added that the college succeeded in graduating 11 batches since 2008, which included 3,992 Bahraini students. He then honored the members of the board of directors of the college and then handed the outstanding students and all graduates their certificates. Today we celebrated the graduation of uh, four batches from 7 to 11 uh, from the Bahrain Teachers College. Uh, this is coming in a wonderful uh, time that the college has uh, received also its accreditation, international accreditation, and uh, it's a new addition to the uh, quality of the, the graduates of the college, uh, which is a uh, great part of University of Bahrain. We're so happy for them. We want to congratulate the graduates and we wish them all the best in serving their country and the schools here in the Kingdom of Bahrain. We are extremely proud of what the Bahrain Teachers College graduates have achieved. Um, today is about celebrating those achievements. As you know, Bahrain Teachers College has been accredited by CAPE, which is an international accreditation body, which shows that the standards of our programs match the best practice in teacher training across the world. So when we celebrate our students today, we know that what they have achieved is the best in the world, and they will go out to be excellent, outstanding teachers for the Kingdom of Bahrain.